I have to say, it's quite some time ago since I was this enthusiastic to receive an upgrade box. <laughs> I'm not sure why, but today I feel positive and I hope the upgrade box will not destroy that. So, let's see what's inside. Ooh. I already like the art style. Oh my gosh, how cute are you? Oh, you and I so adorable. But I have to say it already looks watercolor-esque again. Here you go. I really like the art style. That's right up my alley. So here you see the artist of the month. We won't look inside because there is the password and the code and everything and I think they would not be that impressed if I share that with you. Then we already have a professional quality watercolor paper, 100% cotton, which is cool, cold press. Was cold press the textured one or was cold press the... Uh, smooth one. I always get that confused. <laughs> Seems to be at least decently smooth. It has a bit of grip, a bit of texture, but looks quite nice already. So, let's see what kind of watercolor paints we have. A new brush, always appreciated. I mean, it's Winsor Newton, which is quite expensive, but still, it's watercolor again. And I already see four blues, one green, and more or less three reds. So we have nothing in the yellow department and then we have some white wash. We will try them out in a minute, but I have to say <laughs> it's the same as per usual. We have watercolor again. I like watercolor, but I will never be able to use up all the watercolor I received through the upgrade box so far. <laughs> so, this is my palette where I want to sort them in. This is the palette we got from them <laughs> in April last year. And these are the watercolors we got in February of last year. <sighs> what can I say? <laughs> It's watercolor again. I never used up all of this. I definitely never used up all of this. I basically used it for the one picture and then I lost it. <laughs> but I really found it. And yeah, these are my own watercolors that I did not touch since I started getting the <laughs> stuff from the upgrade. It's highly possible that they will live in here and will be forgotten. <laughs> um, we have first one, seven, nine, cobalt, blue, hue. Let's write the hue in there as well. Hello, new brush. Six hundred sixty ultra.
with a very highly significant difference that I can't see at the moment. <laughs> Intense blue. Oh, there's, that is this Thalo Tolo that no one can quite pronounce. Um, three, two, seven. Okay. <laughs> At the first second I was like, oh, the same blue again. <laughs> and yes, I know these two are not the same. I would say this has a tiny bit more red than this, but you only see that when you have them right beside each other. 322, which is indigo. Purple Lake, 544. Then we have five o two permanent rows. I do need to mention it. These are the perfect galaxy colors. <laughs> It might end in me doing a galaxy drawing. Or at least a galaxy background. So we have 103, which is cadmium red. And, oh, first write, then open. 5.99, sap, green. Okay, so, First of all, I do like the colors. I would have traded one of these two <laughs> for a yellow, because then we would have a bit more options. But overall, I do like the color selection. I just noticed These are quite close and then these are quite close. Don't know why, but just noticed that. Anyway, I do like the idea of doing something space-esque with this color palette, night, heaven. You, you know what, galaxy stuff. But I want to incorporate the green. The only one that might fall flat is the orange. And in our tradition of using a mythical creature as our uh, inspiration, I think I today want to draw <laughs> 
something that maybe um, one of my subscri uh, subscribers might enjoy partic in particular. <laughs> Uh, I just drop your name because you do comment under my videos with your name. So, uh, John Riddle, <laughs> I think 12 hours ago, roughly, when this video will be posted, there will be more, but <laughs> commented on my uh, mythological doll video where I made my centaur. <laughs> that he is interested in uh, Centros especially because he is a Secretarius. So, this is for you. <laughs> another Secretarius, or oh, another Centaur. This one will be silhouetted looking at the sky, at the night sky, and I might be able to draw some constellations with the gouache. And, obviously, he will stand in a forest, so I might be able to get a little bit of the green and orange in there for the uh, leaves and the, yeah, foliage, trees. I think the orange and the green wood could give a nice brown. So, that is the idea. Now we want to sketch. And here we are again with me sketching a horse. And just for full transparency, I do have a reference here. But still, I <laughs> do guess I, I guess I will struggle. So, step one will be that I lay down some colors that will be here in, he, uh, in, in his frame, yeah, in him, um, and yeah, everywhere, and then we will go darker and darker possibly mostly with the indigo. So, let's start. I think I should leave this to dry for a moment before I come back and do the rest. Otherwise we might end up with two merge colors flowing into each other. I do have to admit I kind of like this silhouetted version. Now, let's 
do the galaxy part. And all of this needs at least one second layer, maybe more. And some more drying time is required. some drying time again. In case anyone thinks that this looks as I as if I know what I'm doing, that is purely by accident. <laughs> Let's open this. Because we want some last details. Originally, I would have uh, lined everything out now, just to make really sure you can read everything clearly, but because we didn't get any thing to line any uh, anything, we will skip that step and instead talk about what I think about this box. The materials are great. Everything fits together quite nicely. But it is the third time in one year. or less than a year, that we get frickin' watercolors. And, you know, I love watercolors, but I now have enough supplies for the rest of my existence. And it's... It's the third time we just get these uh, panned ones. We already had them, uh, them in uh, pen form. We had them in... Did we have them in uh, tube form? I'm not sure. But let's be generous and ju just count the um, ones you have to add liquid to. We have these from today. We have these and we have these all of those are nice don't get me wrong <clears throat> but if you are like me a subscriber to this box who is 
subscribed for over a year now. It starts to get repetitive. <laughs> As I said, the materials themselves are great. I wouldn't expect anything less from, especially Windsor and Newton, but with the amount of watercolor we already had in this in past boxes, I think it gets really, really, really repetitive. And I do want to put some more stars next to the tree. Otherwise, it looks like there is nothing in the heaven. So, um, yeah. I did enjoy this box, but I did enjoy it as much as I did enjoy the other um, watercolor boxes. It's nice. It's watercolor. I can d live with that. But, yeah, not everybody likes watercolor. There might be people who are subscribed to this box and have another go on watercolor and go crazy, uh, crazy, or yeah. I have the feeling more and more that the upgrade box does not really keep in mind that there are subscribers that might be subscribed for a longer time it feels very much one-time subscribers would be pleased you know if i would get this box on its own without all the upgrade history i now have it would be fine but having this history it's just another box of watercolors and that yeah as i already said it gets slightly repetitive but anyway i still did enjoy this box i hope you might enjoy slightly what we did here and we will see us in another video. Have a great time and until then.